Happy Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday. Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. I am Robin. Behind the camera, behind the computer is my husband, Bill. And we are coming to you just outside of Lewiston, Idaho. We've got some crafts to show you and we our hope is to inspire you to do something creative every day. So when you hop on, please say hello. Let us know you're watching. If you're new, please let us know where you're watching from. If you are watching us live, right up here, there will be a red box that says live and you'll know that we're live. If that box is not there, that means you're watching the replay. It's all great. Just when you comment, just say hashtag replay and that way we'll know when you are watching. So I'm going to quickly pull this up on my phone so I can maybe read the comments a little, there you are. a little bit better. Hey, Tracy, welcome. And I see Patty's watching. How is everybody? We are great. We had a lazy Sunday afternoon. I attended a uh, women's business meeting and we had it at our a, a small town museum so that was very interesting i'm gonna have to drag mr bill to that because he'll be very interested in seeing that anyway if you are watching our live you've probably watched other people's lives so we would certainly appreciate it if you would like or love our page if you would follow our page we are inching up on 1200 followers trying to get to 2000 so we'd love it if you'd follow us and if you don't mind sharing send it out to your post to some crafty friends you know or if you belong to any craft groups we would love to have you share our video we also have stars enabled so if you are so inclined you can help us out a little bit that way um, if not, that's just fine. We are glad you are here. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Alana. And Patty, I said hello to Patty. Hello again. Just got back from doing your nails. Woohoo! What color are they, Alana? Tell us your color. Okay, we are good. This is going to be a short craft because at it's it's just now six o'clock here at seven o'clock we're going to come back on and we are going to show you we're going to do a preview through our newest uh catalog release now this is just photocopied from the website because it's not going to be a printed catalog but i just printed it off we're going to show it to you on the screen we've got about 25 new designs that are uh, launching on thursday I think it's Thursday the 14th so we wanted to give you a sneak peek and we wanted to kind of offer you some pre-sale pricing on that so that's going to be in just about an hour so we're going to kind of keep this craft short okay anybody else to say hello to if you haven't said hello please do we want to know you're out there okay our craft tonight is another one of those things that I haven't practiced. I haven't tried it. The idea sounds good. So it, again, it might be a big old flop and then you get to see that too. So sometimes, sometimes crafting isn't perfect, but this is what we're going to do. I saw this, you can see that. I got this at Michael's. It is a puzzle form. It's a wooden, it's made out of wood. It's maybe a quarter of an inch thick. So, and it's two layers, so it, it like an eighth of an inch thick. It's, uh, what is this? Balsa, pine, I don't know, what is it? Mr. 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 Probably a balsa. Probably a balsa. No, you know what, that's probably basswood. Basswood, maybe basswood. Who knows? Anyway, I thought... It's wood. It's wood. So it's a puzzle. It's, it's all these little puzzle pieces already cut out, but they're all here. And it's a flat surface. And there's not a lot that you can't chalk on or ink on. So if, you, if it holds still, you can chalk or ink on it. And sometimes even if it doesn't hold still, you can still chalk or ink on it. So we're going to actually do ink on this. I could do chalk, but... I'm, I'm wondering, puzzles are kind of 
can kind of be seen as toys and I wouldn't want it to get put in um, a little child's mouth and, and our paste is, is semi-permanent. So if it gets wet, it's gonna smear. So we're gonna try this with ink. Wood should be able to tolerate the heat and the ink will make it permanent. And our ink is non-toxic. So even if they do put it in their mouth, no harm, no foul. Okay, but it won't, it won't smear and bleed and all of that stuff. So we're gonna give this a try. So this, again, this was from Michael's. I believe it was $4.99, but I had, if you if you join their app, I believe you get a coupon for like 20% off of your entire purchase. So less than $5. Okay, yes, we did have snow this morning and hail this afternoon. Okay. Okay, so this is the transfer we're going to put on it. I was going to put one on that was really cute and it kind of, it was very Eastery. And then I realized if you wanted to do it, you probably wouldn't have time to get the transfer in time for Easter. So I'm not gonna do that one, that would just be mean. So I'm gonna do this transfer. It's not brand new, but it's still in the catalog and I've been wanting to do it. So it's this beautiful, what is this, a biplane? It's this beautiful biplane and it said, let your dreams take flight. So we are going to ink this on top of these puzzle pieces and it should work, it should work fantastic, right? Say yes. Yes, yes it will. Okay, so. It will look awesome. Open this up. Let me open this up. Okay, and one thing I wasn't sure of is how, okay, so that doesn't just flop out. I was afraid it might kind of flop out. So I'm probably gonna have to start prying it when I'm ready for it. But it feels pretty smooth which is a good thing. So I'm not going, I don't feel like I need to wax it or sand it, but I do want to make sure my transfer doesn't stick too hard to it. So I'm not going to wax because I'm going to heat set it. I'm not sure what the wax would do um, under heat. So I don't want to ruin it that way. Okay, so let's get started. So here's my transfer. They are sticky. They are re meant to be reusable. And this one is brand new, so it is really sticky. So that's kind of good and bad. We want it, use this side, we want it to stick to the surface so that the ink doesn't bleed past the sticky part. But we don't want it to stick so hard that we have, a, we have difficulty removing the transfer. So I'm just going to give it a couple little fuzzes. Now, there's all these little lines and grooves in here. So we're probably going to have some bleeding. And it might be a hot mess. And it might be just fine. And I have this big old hair that just wants to keep... That's not fine. No, it definitely is not. And another one. Okay. So I've got this fuzzed, so I've got a, a layer of lint on this, and I'm going to just center it on here. And that fits just right. So this must be an eight and a half by 11 board, puzzle board. So I'm going to push it down. And I've got my, I got my heat press heating up, so it's ready to go. So I'm pushing this down really well. Again, there's all those little lines and grooves where the puzzle pieces are. So to be careful on that, I'm going to, I'm not going to push really, really hard with the ink. And I'm just gonna go in one direction. Okay, so these are the colors that we're going to use. We are going to use red for the plane. So it kind of looks like, who had the Red Baron? Snoopy and the Red Baron. We're gonna use red on the plane itself. And I brought out some black because I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do the maybe I'll do the wheels in black. I don't know. And then the words we're going to do kind of in an ombre with our tide and our cadet blue. Okay. Sound good? I hope so. Sounds good. Okay, you guys are quiet. Why on a puzzle board? 
why not, Marianne? I, I wanted to give it a try. Okay. You could definitely do this on any type of surface, but I wanted to try a puzzle board because I thought that would make a nice gift for somebody who likes puzzles. Just something a little unique. And I wanted to try it and see if it works. And I've seen people put puzzles on the wall, too. If yep. Piece of artwork, Some people have done that. Okay. So... Again, more hair. Let's start with let's start with our red. Okay, so this is our ink. So this this needs to be heat set. And we will do that with our with our Cricut Easy Press. So I'm gonna get some of this ink on my squeegee. I'm not gonna use too much, and I'm going to go lightly. Again, I'm not going to push too hard because that will that will tend to squish it out in those crevices. And I, I'm trying to avoid doing that. Now, one good thing about ink is it takes a long time to dry, so I don't have to be super concerned about paste and peel. I should have plenty of time. Dogs are growling. You kids go outside and play. You kids go outside and play, you crazy dogs. And I definitely want to use this transfer on a, on another surface also, but I thought this would look good. Okay. So, scraping off the excess. Okay. And putting it back in my jar, because I can use that again. And I'm getting low on red. I'm going to have to get some more red ink before too long. Okay. Check my fingers. Now, let's do... You know, let's do let your and take in black. And then we'll do the dreams and flight in the ombre. Okay, so this is our this is our black velvet ink. And I'm using just a, a mini squeegee cut in half for this because it's kind of a tight little spot. And again, I'm not pushing too hard because I don't want it to, I don't want it to bleed. And now let's try our blues. Let's put, let's put the tide on the top and the cadet on the bottom. <laughs> Duke just burped. I gave him a squeeze and he burped. <laughs> Okay. okay, so I'm going to go about halfway up, and I'm just going to do the bottom half in that dark blue, Try not to get that on the top there. Okay. And then you're going to do that where you you uh, I'm going to kind peel of... it up and or I mean before you peel it mm -hmm. up you sort of swirl it. Yep, that's right. Well, I'm not. I'm going to swirl it with my finger. Right. Okay. So this I'm taking our tide and I'm going down to there. So when you do that, I was trying to think of, uh, because dark is always more powerful than the light, mm -hmm. do you sort of, when you swirl it, do you sort of focus on bringing the I, light to the dark? Correct. If I, if I go dark, if I try to s put the dark into the light, it will, it will, it will overpower the light. 
That's not a biblical reference, though. So I'm kind of coming right up to that. I kind of mixed my inks a little bit, so I'm going to be careful putting this back in the jar. Because I don't want to mix my inks, so I'm not going to put that back in the jar. Okay, so next I'm going to, you can kind of see I have, I have the line where it meets. I'm going to spray just a little bit of water on my finger and I'm going to kind of swirl these two colors together so there's not a harsh line. Yeah, I'll try it with finger okay, and again I'm, I'm trying to take the top lighter color and blend that into the darker color okay. now, let me wash off my fingers and then we will peel this up and see how it looks and then we'll see if we can heat set it, and then we'll see if we can unpuzzle it. Okay, when you're working with ink, you want to make sure that when you go to peel it up, you don't have any excess ink on your fingers, because you'll smear it, and once you get that color down, it's going to stain. Even though it might not be permanently set in its design, it will stain your board. Okay, so I'm going to... That is so to go to the center. I don't want to pull from a corner. And to pull this up. Ooh, that's pretty. There it is, not too much bleeding. I am very pleased. What do you think? Is that not pretty? Now, I did kind of pull up a little bit of the wood grain on my transfer. Not a problem. I just need to make sure I clean that off. So I'm going to spray this for a second. And then I'm going to show this to you. We're facing forward. Okay. Can you see? Can you see the ombre? The top of dreams and flight is a little bit lighter. The camera isn't showing it really, really well. But it does, so. it does show in uh, it does. real life. In, yes. So, okay. Oh, and there I got some red on that. Let's see if I can get that off. Okay. Okay. See, that's what I told you not to do. Somehow I got into some red. Okay. Now, I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to clean this because this needs to kind of dry anyway before I go to heat set it. So spraying it just with water. I'm going to start with my Swedish dishcloth or a paper towel. This is optional. Thank you, Alana. This is optional, but I found this saves wear and tear on my board erasers that I'm going to use next. So I'm just taking this to get that top layer of ink off. So that's less work for my board eraser to do. So what I'm going to do is get the, the ink out of that screen. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you, Patty. I'm going to use my board eraser like a magic eraser, but there's no chemicals. Same thing. Now I'm going to get the rest of that paste off. This works really, really well. See how much paste that took off? This works really well at grabbing that paste and pulling it off, but these don't last forever. So I have found that using a paper towel first tends to give these a little extra life. So now I've turned it over and I'm working on getting off some of that fuzz that we put on. And I told you it picked up a couple little wood fibers. So I'm just making sure that all gets cleaned off. 
The best way to clean these is in the sink, uh, under running water, some cool running water, and your board eraser. That is really the very best way to clean them, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to leave long enough to do that. So this is next best. So I've got that ink out of that screen. And I'm gonna turn that over one more time. Top. And back, whoops. Now if that happens, don't panic. As long as it's wet, it will just peel apart. If it, if it is dry and that is super, super sticky and you get it stuck, you can try to gently peel it. Don't 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 rip at it. Don't tug at it, or you'll ruin the uh, adhesive. And if it's just not budging, run it under some water, and that will the water kind of um, stops the stickiness. And then as soon as it's dry, it'll be sticky again. Okay, so I've got that cleaned off, and I'm gonna let that air dry. I'm gonna put my backer sheet back on shiny side to the sticky side and put it back in its little cellophane sleeve okay so here is here is my puzzle piece my puzzle and when you heat set it the best thing to do is let it dry like overnight 24 hours you want to make sure that ink is dry but we don't have 24 hours so i'm going to speed it up a little bit Again, this is not the best way to do it, but it works. So I am going to give this a little bit of a dry. You know, you see, a little, I, must have, I must have gotten my finger into, and that's not going to come up, but that's okay. It's on the edge. Realistically, you could probably paint I could I could paint the edge. I thought about painting the entire thing, but I was afraid um, that I wouldn't be able to pull the puzzle pieces apart very well. Hey Patty, two patties today. This is a this is a double a double patty evening. Like a hamburger. A double double. I'm hungry. Sorry. Okay, so I'm just I'm just getting this dry, and then we're going to heat set it. Like I said earlier, I'm going to use my heat press. You can also do this with a household iron. I'll tell you how to do that in just a moment or two. So if you're interested in this transfer, it's called Let Your Dreams Take Flight. You can type the word puzzle in the comments, and I'll give you a link. And in that link, we'll have this transfer. It won't have the puzzle board. Again, I got that at Michael's. I'm sure you could order them on Amazon too. Type in puzzle blank. And I, it's got all four colors of ink that I used. So if you're interested and you don't need all that ink, take it all out. You can do this all with one color and look perfectly fine. So that's slightly tacky, but it's not coming up on my hand so i think that is pretty good so we're going to heat set this i'm going to put my heat mat down so i don't ruin my table here and then i'm going to cover it with parchment paper not wax paper parchment paper that is to mainly protect the surface of my iron so that if any of this any of this ink is not quite dry or is going to transfer, I don't want it transferring onto the base of my iron. I want it to transfer on the on the parchment paper. You can also use a silicone sheet if you have those. Okay, so I'm using this. I've got it set at 350, and I'm going to set it ordinarily, like for t-shirts, I do 350 degrees for 30 seconds. I'm only going to do I'm only going to do about 15 seconds. In fact, let me change that right now. I'm going to do it for like 15 seconds at a time because I'm not sure of my surface. 
So, and this is going to take two passes because it's not quite wide enough. So I don't need pressure on it. Now, if you don't have one of these, don't go buy one. They're hundreds of dollars. Don't go buy one. Use your household iron. You do the same process. You put the um, parchment paper over it and you take your dry iron, no water, no steam, and you set it to medium high and you just keep that iron moving across the surface for about four minutes. Okay. And with this surface, if you're not sure, do it for a minute and stop and check it. Okay. And I'll, I'll tell you what you're checking for. Okay, so I've got that. So I've got about 15 seconds on it. It's going to be hot, so I'm going to let it cool off. You know it is heat set when you touch it and it's no longer tacky. Okay, so... That's still a little warm. It still feels a little tacky. It could just be tacky because it's warm, but I'm going to let it cool just for a second. And I'm probably going to go back and do that other. Yeah, it's feeling a little tacky. So I'm going to put this back down. I'm going to set it back on for another 15 seconds on each on each spot. So I have never seen anybody chalk on a puzzle or ink on a puzzle. So we'll see if this works. I'm a little concerned with some of the places where the puzzle comes together. I want to make sure that the ink separates. So we shall see. Nothing exact that I couldn't fix. That's true. Okay. So I'll give it a few extra seconds. And like I said, you don't have to put any pressure on it. You just need the heat. And it looks like this wood is holding up to the heat well enough. I was afraid maybe it would warp, but it's looking good. So I'm going to let it cool off a little bit before I try and touch it. You don't want to burn your fingers? I don't. I don't want to burn my widow fingers. Widow fingers. Okay. okay, so that feels pretty dry well maybe not maybe not right there it might just still be hot so we're gonna we're gonna let it cool a bit so what is a what is a at seven o'clock we're gonna do the catalog at time? seven o'clock we're gonna do the catalog preview am so i getting time and a half you yes okay. yes okay you know what that still feels just a little tacky let's do let's do it one more time 15 seconds. I got some, some, or those hugs. Did I get some hugs? That was me being excited. Was that you getting hugs? Oh, that was you. That was me. No, I thought it was them sending me hearts. Oh, mine don't count? Well, I thought they were them. They were I thought they were them. <laughs> they were from them. <laughs> okay. They weren't excited that about me getting time and a half. That so. should do it. Yeah, because one and a half times zero is still zero. You don't have to rub it in. <laughs> okay. Cool off, cool off, cool off. And I can see it is kind of bowing up a little bit. So I can. I still have not got my my uh, strawberry shortcake, so. Well, we'll have to. Okay, so this it did actually kind of bow up, so I am able to remove those puzzle pieces. Cool. So here's your tray. Here, Alana's and... sending you some now. Thank you. And let's see if we can separate these. See what the ink does when we separate that. Okay. Oops. Are you going to lose a puzzle piece already? I might. Okay. So it looks like they are coming apart okay. Some of the wood is uh, splintering. I was going to say, you haven't had this apart yet. So no. Nope. This might be a wood problem too. 
We made so. puzzles with my laser cutter. Mm -hmm. So I may need to when I when I pull it apart, some of there's like some little wood filings that are splintering, but that's nothing that I can't fix with uh, that's nothing I can't fix with a, a an exacto knife or a sanding block. Okay, that doesn't want to come apart. So we will force it. Whoops. Miss Bender says that what a great idea. Alana says she'll be giving us real hugs in about three weeks. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, we're looking forward to you being here, dearie. Okay. Actually, I'm looking forward to to Liberty coming if she makes it. So. <laughs> Because, you know, I'm all about the dog. Okay. And that was the part I was worried about, and that came off really well. Because okay. there's a lot of ink here. But it comes off without a problem. And I'm going to have to try to put this puzzle together in front of you. That's why I'm not really... Uh, Sorry, I'm not really separating it too much. So you can get yourself a box to put this in. Oops. Okay, so now that wood kind of popped up. So I'm going to... That wasn't the chalk. That wasn't the ink's fault. That was just the wood separating. So I'm going to put just a dab of glue in there. I'll push that back down. You're cheating, though. You're just putting it out the same way I am. back together. That's all right. That's not how you do puzzles. That's all right. Well, it is if you want to be put it together again on your live. <laughs> I guess. And not take forever. A lot like watching ink dry. Okay. So these would also work great if you just if you gave them to kids and you just gave them some markers. Let them color a picture, and then they've got a puzzle. Okay, so there's all my pieces. Let's put it back together again real quick. See how it goes. Pretty awesome. Cute design for a cute puzzle. in there get that in there i'm so proud of you you can do a puzzle so fast i can can't i i am just like a genius i am no good at uh rubik's cube though it's a good thing we don't have any around here then. that's true okay that's uh, kind of tight but we push it in it works good Okay, so that was fun. So how many of you are gonna run right out and get yourself a puzzle? Probably none of you, but now you know, now you know you can. The next time you're in Michaels, you're gonna see, you're gonna see these puzzle blanks and you're gonna say, hmm, I wonder, I saw Robin do one of those. And then when you do, I want to see a picture of it. I want you to post it. Yes, it's wood. Oh. It is wood. It's it's a basswood, balsa wood, I don't know, something thin, something a little splintery. It's not super high-end wood. A completely blank piece. But word for it. I'm going to look for that. It is a cute. I think it was over by the unfinished wood section. But it makes sense because it's unfinished wood. But again, it was $4.99 regular price. And it would be cute. You could do it with ink. You could do it with chalk. Just if you do it with chalk, make sure it doesn't get wet. So make sure your kids aren't going to be sticking them in their mouths or spilling their sodas on them. Um, otherwise, you'd want to do ink because this is permanently heat set on here. It's still non-toxic, but it's permanently heat set here. 
And like I said, you could easily just give the kids markers and have them create their own their own design and you have a puzzle. But this is this is what we make. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that ombre there. If you get any closer to be barrier. You think so? Yeah, you're okay. doing a great job. Okay. Anyway, great idea for some Easter baskets. That's true. That's true. You could you could just get them the puzzle and a set of markers and it's a do-it-yourself craft for the kids. So that was tonight's project. It was kind of short and sweet because we have to change gears and get ready for seven o'clock, the catalog preview. So I hope you come back on and join us. Uh, we will be we'll be having a pre-sale and this is my business page so I can't tell you the discount for the pre-sale but if you go over to my VIP group it's posted there or you can type in the word pre-sale in the comments and it will send you a link the link will tell you what the discount is and there will actually be two ways you can shop you can watch the live and when you see something when I show you something that you want you can just comment I want that one, I want that one, I'll send you an invoice. Or on the link that you get when you type pre-sale, you can shop that link, it's a Google form. You can go through, take, take a look at the photos there and order from that. So there'll be two different ways to order, but I hope you will join us. I hope you will join us at seven o'clock for our preview. It shouldn't take too long. We do only have like 25 transfers, but who knows? We might get to talking and laughing and giggling. But okay, so here we go. I'm going to pose. You're so cute. Aren't I just? Okay, so thanks a lot. Hopefully, we'll see you in about 25 minutes. And if not, we'll see you again tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, oh, tomorrow we're having an opportunity live in my my VIP group. So if you're interested in learning more about um, this company, this fantastic company that I'm working for, truly I'm not working, I'm working for myself. I am my own boss and I'm using this company to help me in my business. So if you wanna, if you wanna learn more about that or more about the club or more about being a customer, come join our, our live in our VIP group tomorrow at six. So again, thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Have a great evening. Have a great week. Bye-bye.